Hi guys, Gunshy Mora here, back with my ARC mod review of ARC Editions. So we're just going to go quickly through here a bit, run through all the creatures, and then we're going to go show off the boss and all the recent add-on stuff that they've recently released. So hope you guys enjoy. So let's cut over to the first creature. So first off here, guys, we have the Xvactinatus. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And what this is is just a... a it's a fish, okay guys? <laughs> That's the best I can describe it. It's a prehistoric fish here. It comes in three different variants. You got the regular one there on the left, then you got the abyssal one there in the right, or in the middle. Then on the right you, here, you guys can't really see it, you got the X variant. This one will spawn on Genesis Part 1. I'm hoping here shortly in the next couple updates, maybe they'll add in an R variant to go into the underwater, or the underground ocean on... Uh, Genesis part 2 but if we quickly go here and put on the let me find the saddle for it here uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think this is it isn't it yeah we quickly put on the saddle here hop on what we can do is if we give it a left click we got the simple bite maneuver that you can do but if we hit right we got a lunge attack here and one of the nice things that you can do with this fish here is, if I go this way, is you can jump around with it. Uh oh. And there we are. So that's basically it there for the exact Dinatus. So, on to the next one. Alrighty, for our number two dino here, we got the Archelon. So, these recently in their last update got a TLC done on them, so they do look a lot better than they did previously. I mean, they looked a little, to be honest with you, they looked a little uh, scrawny, like they were a lot thinner back in the old one, definitely. They've definitely changed here, and I love the X variant here. I mean, this one just spawned with amazing colors because it's got this nice red shell. You can really see the, new pa the, the pattern on that one. Especially here because the X-ray has got the dots and it's got these weird little eyes. On, this is the normal one that basically just spawns on every map. I mean, it, it came out with some bright colors as well. When I, I use uh, Arc Nucleus to spawn this stuff in, so it just gives them random colors. And this one came out very vibrant and this one came out pretty as well. So let's uh, hop on the Archelon here and uh, that is not saddle for it, is it? No, this is. So this saddle is a five-seater, so you have one uh, driver, then you got four passenger seats. And the Archelon here is very slow on land. Like, ferociously slow. Like, as in, uh, I'm thinking this is going to take a hot minute. Now that we're here at the water, <laughs> that took a hot second, uh, let's go for a swim. And there you go. It, it is incredibly maneuverable in the water. It moves very, it, not very fast, but moderate speed. I'd say probably about the speed of a Megalodon or a Nickthy. Probably somewhere in between that. But it does got a decent moving speed. And if you hit space, you'll ascend up. You go to the surface. And if you hit C, you can descend down. So... On to our next creature. Alrighty guys, here with our third dinosaur here, we got the Crylophosaurus. So these are very interesting di or I don't even think these dinosaurs exist. I think they're modeled after a real one, but I don't think it was called a Crylophosaurus. But here we go with the, this is the only one out of, like only other one out of the two, I believe, of the Ark Editions to have an R variant here. And with the R variant here, it, it spawned with this very vibrant green, so you can see the new pattern on it for the Genesis Part 2 map. But we got the normal one over here. These do spawn just occasionally in the snow biome, not just everywhere. You know, pretty uh, simple. I believe these are a passive tame as well, so good luck. They are carnivorous. Uh, do you mind? No? I I'm like recording here, dude. Okay. Now that that asshole's gone out of the way, let's uh, hop on the Crylophosaurus here. 
this is no that's bracky uh that's concavenator wall crylophosaurus i fucked up there we go <laughs> So, what we can do here with the Crylophosaurus is if we hit the left trigger, it does a simple bite attack. And I believe here we have to go get some water. And with right click, we will start filling up our cryo liquid. So, let's get that filled up. And then if we hit C here, we just spit, which is awesome. And it does say that this does do some torpidity, so you could probably use him to uh, torpor people. But you could also, if you just hit control here, you'll go and change stance. And if you hit, you'll breathe this ice stuff here. If we uh, turn here, let's go fuck with the other Crylophosaurus. I can't fuck with the other Crylophosaurus. Where the. You know, where'd that uh, trike go that was fucking with us earlier? I don't know, but here's a parasaur. You can freeze them in place, and then they won't move away. So, you can do this with uh, something. I don't believe that does a lot of damage as well. I believe it just slows them down so that way they can't move. And as you can see here, if they're trying to get away, it definitely looks like they break faster. But then if you got like your pass, your tames like here on the Spracky, it just sits there. So those would be the controls for the Crylophosaurus. This is definitely a must have tame as well. It is just that awesome of a creature. So on to the next one. Alrighty guys, here with our fourth creature, we got the Dino Sucus. These are a passive tame, and they are probably one of the easiest passive tames out of these. It's just like a normal, simple one uh, where you have the carnivore and you have to run up while it's not looking and feed it, like the mantises or all that. You just have to wait for its mouth to open. But the Dinosuchus here is a pretty large creature. I think it's twice the size of the Sarko. And it does come with, I believe, an aberrant and an X variant. So yeah, this one right here I believe is the normal one, the one here with the red on the back. If we quickly turn our HUDs back on, and it doesn't give me names, let's quickly toggle names. Okay, uh, plan B. Yeah, this is the normal Dino Zucus. So this is the normal one. I believe this one right here is the Aberrant. So yes. So this is the X variant, and it's kind of got like a zebra pattern on it, uh, stripes and all that. So, but if we hop on here to the Dinosuchus, let me grab its saddle, I believe that's it. Yep. All right. Don't let me hide. Come on. All right. So what we can do with the Dinosuchus is, is if we hit the left trigger, it's a simple bite. If you hit the right trigger, it does a strong, we can do the gigabyte. So what this does is charges up this megabyte and we drop down and boom, like that just a lot of damage you know hot second so if we hit C we got tail swipe which is pretty decent just get a quick tail swipe in there on your enemy so let's quickly back up here for this next one and it stands pretty high up out like at, up when you walk with it too so it's like it's already double the height of the Sarko but then when it stands up I think it's like four times the height of the Sarko but if we hit left control here, we got a roar. Like all mode, like a lot of carnivores. Um, I should have checked on the previous one there to have roar. But if we hold spacebar, what, what, what does spacebar do? Oh, it, it's a turn in place function. Okay. So this thing is like, if you're having people like say in PvP come up on you, like they're trying to run up on the sides of you, thinking that you have a have a slow turning boom we turn in place and you turn pretty fast in place so it's gonna be hard in pvp to come running up on the side of one of these things so, on to the next creature Alrighty, here with our fifth creature guys we got the concavenator so this spawns in three different variants you got the normal variant here on the right of uh, the aberrant one here on the left the green one here and then you got the X variant here that spawns on Genesis Part 1. 
and I do believe it spawns in the lava biome because it, it does have this little flame effect on it, and I do, be do believe at night as well it glows. But yes, what the concavenator is is basically like a giant sand shark. So if we quickly hop on it here. Uh, yep, there's the concavenator saddle. And uh, we hop on it here, and we hit the left click. We'll do a bite, and if we hit the right, we'll dig ourselves into the ground. And what we can do is swim forward or swim back. Now, if we come back out of the ground and we hit C, we'll make a dust cloud. And if we hit control, control does nothing. I thought this might have a rar. Uh, if we hit space, oh, look, if we go into the ground and hit space bar. We'll jump out and back down in, kind of like a, kind of like how you can jump out of the water with the stingrays. With this one, you can jump out of the ground. So it's pretty. Uh, I think it's pretty fast once you get going. You can jump pretty far as well. I can easily jump the creek or jump the jump the previous dinosaurs. But yeah, so that would be the concavenator. So. It's on to the next one. And these are the big boys. Alrighty, guys. We got here our sixth dino, and I said we are at the big boys. So we got the Acrocanthosaurus here. And I believe here, it, this first one that we're looking at here is the normal variant. This will spawn on most maps. And then over here, we got, I believe, the Scorched variant. And I do believe this will spawn on the Scorched Earth and of like the modded maps that have a desert on them and then this one will also spawn on the modded maps that i believe have red redwoods or plains kind of deal but over here uh this one right here with the little red the red head that is i believe the x variant which will spawn in genesis part one i do I'm trying to remember here where it spawns. I think it spawns in the swamp. I don't know if it spawns in the lava biome. It doesn't look like it has the lava patterning on it, so I'm going to say no. But then over here, we got this nice little polka dotted one here for the R variant. I do believe this spawns in Rockwell's Garden as well. But yeah, if we want to quickly hop on here to our favorite colored acro, because why not? And we will quickly throw on a saddle and hop on. And so what you can do with the acro here is you can hit the left trigger, you get a simple bite. And these guys are really loud. But if you hit the left trigger again, you got the bite. If you go into if you hit your right trigger, you go into your shield stance. And what this is is another PvP kind of mode dinosaur. So if you have people attacking you from the front. You can turn the side to it, and I do believe it gets a damage, like, res a damage resistant buff when you're like this. And But what you can do is, it can break metal tier structures, but what you can do is, you can go basically into this stance, you know, walk towards someone's base, and then you, when you get up there and you hit left click, you got shield dash on the wheel, and you will slam into the side of their base. But if we hit C here, stomp attack but if we hit control we got our roar so yeah the acro is definitely one of the the acro is actually the first dinosaur in this in this mod collection i believe but yes the acro is definitely one of my favorite ones on to the next dino Alrighty guys, last but not least, we got the Brachiosaurus. So, I do believe this one also had some TLC done on it, just a little bit. I think they just were fixing up the feet on this boy. But right here, I do believe this is the normal variant. I don't know why, but I can't get overlays on. Yep, this is, this is the normal variant, so now I can figure this out. So this is the normal variant here. You got the pink polka dots here on the back. But this one here... You're, you might be wondering, like, what the hell wrong with this one? This one right here is the woolly Brachiosaurus. So this one will spawn up in the snow biome. Um, I love it because I'm hoping here shortly uh, there's a map on the workshop I've been paying close attention to that they're working on. Very snowy map. I'm hoping that they will add some spawns for the woolly Brachiosaurus all over that map. 
just because they have a woolly carno already made for their map. But okay, weird weird lighting glitch. Don't worry about it. But first, but over here though we got the aberrant variant, and I do believe just the it's the same texture as the or the same uh, pattern as the normal variant. It just has the dots glowing. Oh, it's raining. That's why. Uh, I don't know any weather commands. I'll pick those up shortly um, before we do the boss. But here is the R variant. This blue one here. Sorry, I got the X and the R swapped. The R variant here. This will spawn, I believe, in uh, the Eden side of Genesis Part 2. But then over here, as you can see here, from the volcanic biome on Genesis Part 1, we got the X variant. And this one, I do believe, has a has a slightly different style for a certain attack, so we're gonna use him to show off the attacks. Okay, so the attacks that you can do with the Brachiosaurus are, if you click right trigger, you just do a simple stomp with your foot. If you hit right trigger, you do a rear stomp or a rear kick with your foot. If you hit C, You'll stand up on your two back legs, and then if you come back down with the left click, you'll do a stomp attack here. And as I was saying, it has a special animation there. The rest of those, it's usually just some ground comes popping up. But with uh, this one, you got like a little blast there. I don't know if it does more damage or not, or any special effect. But yeah, it does a lot of damage. It's supposed to be like a giga killer, the Brachiosaurus. But if we hit control, we do got a roar. Then if we hit R, I think we can cycle through something called gathering efficiency. I yeah, I don't know what that is. It just says on the wick give you hit R and then hit left control, you'll cycle through a uh, gathering efficiency. But yeah. So I'm gonna go fix the rain and then we'll be on to the oh not the boss, we're gonna be on to the items. Then to the boss. So on to the items. Alrighty guys, so what we got here, and these are something I didn't even know were in the mod until I was spawning them in. I'm not a hundred percent sure because the other mod review videos I've seen do not have this costume in it. But these are the from the depths uh Things. The, this is the dude who edits uh, all their trailers and all the other stuff for Arc Editions. So they gave him, I believe, a costume here from what it looks like. And a little minifig, which is, I believe, just an exact copy of the costume. Ready, ready. So if we swap here, I guess I didn't have my chest piece on. Uh, what is that? Okay, oh, Helene is in the ground because I had her equipped. But well, if we quickly hop here into orbital cam, got the from the depths costume, rocking it. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, uh, don't seem to have hands when I punch, but yeah. But quickly, get my, quickly get my other stuff back. Then we got the chibi version of it, which again, it's just a shrunk up version of the costume. It does look like a, the helmet's a lot bigger, but what do you expect? It's chibi, the head's usually always bigger. But then over here, we got the Acros, and I do believe that all, all the variants of the Acros have a Chibi. So this is the normal one, definitely Scorched Earth one, because here, because it has the hair. Uh, this is the X variant that spawns in the swamp. Then you got the R, because you can see the polka dots here. They all spawned in brown for some reason, I don't know why. But then right here, we got the... Savage Acro, so this is the boss, so you can get a chibi version of the boss. So those are the chibis, and then we're over here to uh, the other stuff, the main stuff that drops from the boss, like the trophies. So you'll get a banner and a head from the boss, and all this stuff I'm pretty sure is just a random chance to drop from the boss, really. So when you fight, so when we fight him here, boss so we'll see here what we get from the boss here i'm just going to spawn him here in the middle and uh get going so let's cut over to that over to the boss fight guys 
Sorry, I lied. We're not on to the bite. We're not on to the boss fight yet. I lied. Sorry. I forgot about the costumes. But here, if we quickly throw these on here, the acro comes with a nice ghost costume here. I do believe this does spawn in... This does drop from the boss, but I don't know if a ghost variant spawns in at all. Maybe for the Halloween event. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it might just be something that drops from the boss. I keep hitting the wrong button, but if we quickly go in here, we also get a Savage Acro costume. And where it's just basically the Savage Acro, but we are missing a QP details. We got the extra little cuts and all that on the mouth and all that. The boss actually does have like spears and all that sticking out of him, but this skin does add in the battle damage. As you can see there on the face and on the shoulder. Um, in there on the leg there. But yeah. Now we're on to the boss fight, people. Alrighty, guys. So, we're ready for the boss fight here. Everything is set. Ready on neutral. I'm going to run back here and hop on the, the blue acro there. The normal variant. So, what we're going to do here is... The way that you spawn in the savage acro is... If we quickly use this little totem here. You have to collect savage acro glands to craft the summoning, which will kind of like the dodo rex. Are you sure you want to consume this item? Yes. There's the savage acro. There's all our creatures going to attack. That is, uh... That's all the sarcos gone. He does a lot of damage. I think he's gonna kill us all. Yep. Yep. It's gonna kill them all. That is a million health, and we barely scratched it. God damn. Let's see how you like this, buddy. So, there we go. God damn. He killed everything. Those were like all 120s as well. Oh, don't worry, we have one fish left over here just flopping to death just flopping to death over here on the beach. But yeah. 2k health. They're they all spawned in at 120. This motherfucker annihilated them. So you're definitely gonna want some like boosts in there, like some U ties and maybe definitely bring some brackies if they're giga killers. Definitely bring some gigas too. <laughs> God damn. Holy moly, guys. He annihilated them. Alrighty. Here, let's land and see what we got. So, what we got from beating him is... What is that? The Savage Acro Trophy. We got the flag. And uh, it does look like it drops the Alpha Acro cost Or the Ghost Acro costume. And then what we got over here is... Uh, chibi for the acro and then we got the chibi scorched acro so we got yeah acros drop from it then what we got here is it looks like we got some different leveled uh, blueprints for for actually the archaditions creatures only it looks like then we got an ascendance yeah got some ascendant saddles here for those concave and nader one uh, Ascendant Cryo Lophosaurus Saddle Blueprint. And then we got some tech blueprints here as well. We got a Journeyman Sword, an Apprentice Tech Rifle, and then we just got some tech gauntlets here. So yeah. But damn, I didn't expect him to kill everyone. Holy moly. Well. 
I guess that's what we get. But again, more right here. Thank you for staying tuned towards the end of the video and watching all the way through, especially up until he killed all the killed all the dudes here. But if you've stayed to the end, um, guess what? I got my Discord link in the description there. It's gonna be right above the link to the Arc Editions mod page, and uh, go check out this mod. I really recommend it. Definitely fabulous. And uh, oh, especially here, we'll get have a quick cut here. Then we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So what we were cutting off to here is the helicopter Ornus. I believe that's what it's called. Um, it's a work in progress right now on the Arc Editions Discord page here is what I'm looking at. And if we scroll up here, I think that's what it's called. We got some preview art. I suggest you guys really come and look at this. But it does look like the helicopter the and helicopterist, something along that line. Is what they're working on here so you got some good views here you got the mouth here looks like it has a weird like spiral kind of tooth and it uh, looks like it's a little bit bigger than the megalodon actually or just about the same size maybe a little longer definitely a little longer but yeah and uh, it looks like we got uh, an animation of it here swimming not too bad not too bad um, I'm definitely thinking this creature is gonna be the next one added in uh, probably here soon uh, if Nick probably their next major update they're gonna be adding in the, the this shark basically so I'm looking forward to it so keep an eye out look for my next video definitely gonna be bringing it up um, and if we scroll down here um what is that I oh oh I know what it is it's an egg it's the probably an egg for the shark so if they're, they're already on the stage where they have the egg modeled out for it as well probably even textured so yeah I'd, I'd keep an eye out for this this came out this one was dropped only eight, eight eight days ago here on the second so yeah I'd keep an eye out um, and expect a update here shortly for our conditions all right now time to finish the outro so what we got here is basically if you stay tuned to this point there will be a link to my discord in the description come on come in hang out just be respectful, don't be belligerent to anyone, just come hang out, none of them are going to be mean to you, trust me, they're pretty nice people that are already in there, but yeah, as usual, left, you got my most recent video, and on the right there, you got a link to my, I think, YouTube recommended, and then right that smack down in the middle there, covering up my face, probably, the character here in the video, is my link to my channel, so go please subscribe leave a like comment on the video tell me how I'm doing looking forward to anyone's uh, what would you call it point to be made apparently we have a lot of dinosaur around me so let's quickly wrap this up so see you guys this has been Moray signing off